Hi folks, futility runs to number 13 and counting. Let's talk about it coming up. Okay, I mean, we can look at uh, five, 10 reasons why we lost that game tonight. Uh, I don't know if it was just me, but the Bruins didn't even look like they were trying that hard. God, <laughs> just how it felt, you know? It's, um, look, we'll just, we just have to take it a game at a time. What, what can we do? This is just a terrible time, guys. You know, terrible time for me to have a channel. <laughs> you want the truth. Um, I want to run over a little something here on a personal, because I'm, I'm, I know I keep forgetting to do this, and um, it's kind of important to me. Look, this was, it was Hockey Fights Cancer Night, and, uh, you know, I, I, I lost my mom September the 11th this year. Uh, well, the, you know, in, um, sorry, in 2020. I counted this year, it was a few months back, uh, to cancer. And, and it took my dad out years, uh, you know, before also. And the thing is, it's affected all of us, you know, I believe. And it's just something that, uh, um, I, you know, I just wanted to touch on. It's, uh, you know, God, folks, I mean, I, I would love nothing more than to see the Sabres win a Stanley Cup. But if I could ever see a cure for cancer in my lifetime before I die, I think that would be the biggest thrill of my life. And on that note, I'm just gonna stop there with that. Okay, I wanna go over a little something here, folks. Um, I can't, you know, I don't know why I didn't bring this up, but it, it, I'm bringing it up now, I don't wanna forget. Now, Granado we know, of course, is the interim coach of Buffalo right now, we know, but, on a personal note, Cami Granado lived in my building back in 1995. And uh, this was um, uh, after I got my daughter back. Um, long story short, you know, my daughter lost her mom uh, a, a few years after this. And um, my, my daughter was very young and impressionable with women at the time and had a very hard time trusting at the time. But she was very open to being friendly too, you know. it's. She was a very confused kid back then. My daughter now is doing great, you know. Look, she's 33. Uh, her life is animal rescue and helping animals. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better kid. But I wanted to go over the Cami Granado thing, okay? She played at Concordia from 1994 to 1997. And she, in her career, she scored 179 goals, 151 assists. I could not find the games. God, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find it. She led the team to two Quebec titles and was named MVP in 1995-96 and was Concordia Female Athlete of the Year in 1995. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because Cami used to come by with her teammate and I wasn't too familiar with what was going on with the USA Women's Hockey Program until she, she filled me in. And you know guys, what I can tell you about this lady is that she was totally humble, sweet, nice, friendly, no ego, you know, just everything you'd want to meet in a nice person, you know, when you run into them, hey, how you doing? And she used to come by to get my little daughter with her teammate when they would go swimming because we had a pool in the building and they would come pick her up and, you know, they, they'd say, you know, if you want, we'll come get April after, you know, because they kind of heard the story that, you know, her, her mom wasn't with her and they felt bad. And, uh, you know, and she, of course, many of you know, out in the USA, of course, she was the captain of the 1998 USA gold medal team at the Nagano Games. You know, of course, that's where she hit her pinnacle, you know. But I met her before that, and she had told me she was out here training, getting prepared for that tournament eventually. You know, she, she told me. And um, I just have a lot of good memories of that, so I wanted to throw that out there before I, uh, before I go on about this <laughs> disaster that we call the Buffalo Sabres. Folks, we're just going to have to hang in there. <laughs> I don't know when this is going to end. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. We might set a team record for futility. We're so damn close now, right? I'm almost rooting them on to get it. God. Um, I really think that uh, we, we, we just got, you know, you, you, you want the truth? Just be a real fan and stick by your team, guys. That's all. Because this is the time you can be proud of being a fan in the future when things are back on track, you know? The real fans stick by their team right now, you know? Let's be honest here. 
and uh, I'm sticking by them no matter what. I don't want to wring their necks, but <laughs> I'm going to stick by them. And uh, I, I, if anything, I just feel kind of bad for them. It's almost like they're down in the gutter, okay? They're down in the gutter. They went down into the low depths of despair, and they're just deciding they don't want to commit suicide just yet, you know? And, and it's like you're just yanking them out of the mud, out of the quicksand. It's how it feels. God, it's a mess. It's a mess. What we got on our hands, it's a mess. And I'll tell you what, if we are in the playoffs within the next three years, I would say, three years, and people say, no, 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 <laughs> it's not happening now. Not this year. This year is a year that we have opportunity in front of us. We can use these games to straighten things out and not have to stress out about playoffs around. Just let's get the franchise back on track. The rest of it doesn't matter. You know, not this year, no. And to fix the culture somehow. God, you know, body language, guys, look at it. It's awful. You know, <laughs> Paul, so gets what? A shorty? <laughs> it's our offense tonight. Oh my God. Oh Lord, hey. Anyway, look. It, we, we went as low as, as we can go. Maybe not with the wins and loss column yet, but I mean, I think emotionally, ah, we can kind of laugh things off a bit right now, right? I mean, it's gonna just take some time. It's going to. Every team in every sport and every professional league can come back from these kind of things. Ask the Cubs. Come on, you know, like, there's a, I can go on and on. Ask the Tampa Bay Lightning over last overall. Ask, you know, I, I can go on and on and on. It, it doesn't make any difference to do that. So right now, uh, the way I'm looking at things is, is I'm just looking for a spark. I'm not thinking about winning and losing, not yet. It's almost like it's a baby and I'm forcing it to walk too soon. No, not yet. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm looking for is a spark, uh, some sort of spark where I'm, I spot it one night where I'm like, oh my God, look at that. Look what just happened. That kind of moment. We'll see, you know, we'll see next game. My God, I can't believe even the Bruins kind of look like they were like, eh. <laughs> you know? Oh my God. They didn't have to play that good, eh? did they? Ugh. Anyway, folks, it can't last forever. I can't, you know, or we, we've got, geez, my God. So, I, yeah, while the game was on, I started going through all this stuff, you know, because it kind of got my mind. I mean, I was watching it while I was doing all this online, you know, and I wanted to make sure I touched base on the Cami Granado thing because that played a big role in my life at the time for my daughter, you know, and um, meant a lot at the time. It was really, really sweet. And, um, and, and it's just, I find it such a coincidence. Her brother right now is the coach of my favorite team. It's just weird, you know? So look, we hang tough to next game. Sooner or later, we got to win. We can't lose forever. Right? I don't think, <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, anyway, look, we're not going to lose forever. Sooner or later, we're just going to snap out of it. I think what'll happen when the Sabres do win a game, they're going to win something like seven to one. That's what's going to happen, guys. It's going to be an explosion, you know, all of a sudden of anger. And the other teams, nothing's going to go right for them. And that's where it's, you know, how it works in sports. It's just how it works. Okay, I'm rambling. I really want to go more about the Cami Granado thing, what it meant in my life at the time. And the hockey fights cancer meant a lot to me tonight. You know, it's like, um, I, 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 got, I would give anything to see a cure in my lifetime. I would give anything to see that. I'd give my life for it. I really would. I, I would do it now. Like, I would love to hear, wake up one day and people say, Wayne, turn on the radio. You're not gonna believe it, you know? God, whatever give to, to that day, so. On that note, folks, I'm gonna say goodnight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll go chit chat a bit online if anybody's on. If not, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.